The floating oil rig, operated by British Petroleum, called the Deepwater Horizon, was extracting oil from 1,500 meters below the surface of the ocean off the coast of the southern United States. Then the oil rig caught on fire and sank. The riser pipe has leaks in multiple places, gushing somewhere between 50,000 and 100,000 barrels of oil per day, by current estimates, into the Gulf of Mexico. Many failed or partially failed attempts have been made to stop the flow of oil. These include an undersea robot that failed to turn off the oil flow at the wellhead blowout preventer, a large dome intended to trap and pump the oil that trapped ice instead and floated away from the pipe. A smaller dome placed over a single leak that developed leaks of its own. Robots trying to siphon the oil from the end of the riser pipe ran into each other. But the next day, they did succeed in containing oil coming from one of the leaks. All these methods suffer greatly from the same flaw. British Petroleum is still trying to recover oil from the site. Recovering oil should be a side effect of the repair efforts, not a prime concern. To help out, we have ideas and suggestions for stopping the oil leaks. We hope that everyone involved in fixing the problem remains completely open to new ideas, no matter the source, as long as the emergency is still underway. My idea is to cut the pipe and then redrill the well. Underwater, robots could go to the wellhead and cut or crush or blow the pipe. Then the leak would be only at the wellhead. A new oil platform would then be brought in to redrill the well. With the help of underwater robots, the drilling rig could shoot heavy drilling mud directly into the well before redrilling. My idea is this, if all else fails, bring the hammer. A large explosive device would be placed next to the blowout preventer at the wellhead. After the explosion, the well may have been sealed off by the blast or there may still be oil flow. In either case, a large solid concrete and steel barrier should be used to permanently seal off the well. Of course, a pressure relief well would still have to be drilled nearby by a new oil rig. No matter how the leaks are stopped, robots will have to be used to inspect, take samples, and perhaps even assist in the cleanup after the emergency is over. Also, consider tapping into the expertise of naval submarine engineers for deep water experience and Siberian pipeline engineers for dealing with hydrate clathrate ice clogs. Their real-world experience in these areas is second to none.